Hello, everyone. I'm Jackie, and today I'm going to go over the most difficult problems that have appeared on some of the SAT exams. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. In this problem here, it gives me a um, quadratic like, equation, and it tells me that the exoplanet is parabola that opens upward. So A is positive has a vertex at point hk, um, where k is less than zero, and f of negative nine is equal to f of three, which of the following must be true. Okay, so first, where does, why would f of nine, negative nine and f of three be equal to each other? Where would that occur? Oh yes, where y is equal to zero is where they would equal each other. And that's basically, aka the x-intercepts of the parabola. So just to look at this on a graphing perspective, if this is point three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, this is negative nine. I have a parabola, I know it opens upward. So I can actually get what the midpoint or the center x coordinate of the vertexes because I know um, it will be the midpoint. So this coordinate here, h, is equal to the midpoint, which I can do x coordinate 1, x coordinate 2 divided by 2, which would be negative 9 plus 3 divided by 2, which is negative 6 divided by 2, which is negative 3. Okay, so I know then that my vertex is around here. Remember, parabolas, they're always, um, they are always symmetrical. Okay, so that's why I know that the x-coordinate of the vertex, it's equidistance from this x-intercept and to this x-intercept. Okay, amazing. So why is that amazing? Well, now I'm going to go to vertex form. And remember, vertex form, super important formula. Know this for digital SAT. Um, okay, but let's plug in with what I know. I know that this is negative 3. Inside the square will be the opposite sign. And now we can expand my brackets. So when I expand, this becomes x squared plus 6x um, plus 9 plus k, and then I distribute my a. So this is ax squared plus 6ax plus 9a plus k. And remember, this is all equal to this equation here, which is ax squared plus 4x plus c. Okay, so here I can see ax squared is equivalent to ax squared. Likewise, I know that, um, look at the coefficients to guide you. The 6a must be equal to 4. So if 6a is equal to 4, that means a is equal to 2 thirds. Um, so a is greater than 0, or greater than or equal, sorry, a is greater than or equal to 1. No, not true. It's 2 thirds. So I know two is not true, so can't be B and can't be C. So I already have a 50-50 chance of getting this one correct. And then likewise from here, let me make this red. So I know that my C value is this. So 9A plus K is equal to C. I have my A value, so I can plug that in here. Do, do, do. Um, so 9 times 2 thirds plus k equals c. So 6 plus k equals c. If k is equal to c minus 6, um, I'm also told that k is less than 0. So c minus 6 must be less than 0, and c is less than 6. Um, so c is less than 0? No. Therefore, it must be correct choice um, D. 
So moving on to our next problem. So it says, in the xy plane, a parabola has vertex 9, negative 14, so h and k, and intersects the x-axis at two points. Interesting. And the equation is written like this. Which of the following could be the value of a plus b plus c? Okay, so first, whenever I'm giving the vertex, I'm going to do y equals a x minus h squared plus a. Okay. Um, so I know my vertex form formula. I'm given the vertex coordinates so I can easily plug it in. And that will be a x minus nine squared. Remember, if it's positive, here the h value, it will have the opposite side inside the square. And the k value is minus 14. And then I will do x minus nine x minus 9, um, minus 14, expand the brackets. That becomes x squared minus 18, um, x plus 81. And then I will distribute the a to everything. Plus 81a minus 14. OK, so I have my a value. It's just a b value here, um, negative 18a. And then I have my c value, which is 81a minus 14. I'm asked for the value or could be the value of. So now I can sum these. This is 64a minus 14. Um, OK. So then I look at the answer choices, and I'm like, OK. Um, oh no, this is an answer choice. Well, I'm looking for what could be the value. Important, I'm told that this crosses the x-axis at two points. Imagine here, if I have the parabola and my vertex is around here, let's say this is the nine negative 14. Um, in order for it to intersect the x-axis at two points, it must open upward, okay? So I know that if it opens upward, that means that A must be positive. Lucky for us, I'm given um, an equation here, 64A minus 14, that I can solve for A. So let's see. For example, um, A is negative 23. So if I have negative 23 set it equal to the equation is equal to 64a minus 14. And I add the 14 to each side. That would give me negative 9, 64a. But anyways, here, just to save time, I would stop because I can see that this results in a negative value of a, and I'm looking for a positive value of a. Positive. Um, so can't be this. B, same thing. Also, I can see that I am just moving the negative 14. So I'm adding 14. So this would also be negative. I'll just write it out for learning purposes. Um, so this would be negative 5, 64a. That'll be negative. C will result in a zero value, which also no. So therefore, D must be our winner, but let's make sure and see why. Um, negative 12 is equal to 64A minus 14. So I get 2 equals 64A, and 2 64 equals A. That is my only positive value, and therefore, that must be our answer. OK, so you see this one. Um, Make sure you know vertex form. If you get to an equation like how we saw, um, be like, OK, and what? Go back to the question and see if there's any keys within the question that can help you solve. OK, amazing. So now let's take a look at this one. This is an SAT classic. I've seen it on a few Blue Book exams and also on the um, official SAT. Digital city. 
I believe actually the June SAT and August SAT had similar questions. Okay, but anyways, it says a window repair specialist charges two twenty for the first two hours of repair plus an hourly fee for each additional hour. The total cost for five hours of repair is four hundred. Which cost for <laughs> which function f gives the total cost in dollars um, of the repair where x is greater than or equal to two? Okay, so I know. A lot of people look at this and they try to solve an equation, but the fastest way actually for this problem is to be like, okay, total cost for five dollars, five hours, it's four hundred. I can just simply plug in this would be my x value and see if it's equal to f of x would be the four hundred. So is that true when I plug in four hundred? Well, let's see. Just 400 equals 60 um, times 5 plus 100. It does. 400, right? 300 plus 100. So that is the winner. Um, a lot of people would go for 220, but the thing with 220 is that, or 60x plus 220, is that you're, um, you're not taking into account the first two hours of the repair. Okay, and also it, just to prove that it is incorrect, 400 is not equal to uh, 300 plus 220, so 5, 520. 400 is not equal 520, so therefore it can't be B. But these ones, just to double check yourself and see if the equation is actually true, you can literally plug in whatever they tell you for total cost and see if it's true in the equation. I find that to actually be the fastest, most logical way. Amazing. Okay, so this one, I made a TikTok video on this one, but important. SAT. Um, it says, well, in the given equation, A and B are constants. The product of the solutions is KAB, where K is constant, what is the value of K? Okay, very simple, but first, like, this is um, quadratics, right? So whenever you have product of solutions, shortcut, it is C over A. My C value is AB, and A, it's 50, 57. So I have um, AB over 57 is equal to KB. Um, so AB is equal to 57 times KB. Divide each side by AB. Remember when you cancel out, this will just give me one. One is equal to 57K. And therefore one over 57 is equal to K. So it should be K. But be on the lookout when you have this language on the exam, product of solutions, it is short to do C over A. So um, the long way to go about that would be to actually solve the quadratic equation, get the two solutions, multiply them together. That's long, complicated, not ideal. Know the shortcuts, know the hacks, so you can save time. Okay, so now let's look at this one. Hmm. Um, in the given equation, A and B are positive constants. The sum of the solutions to the given equation is k for a plus b, e, where k is a constant, what is the value of k? Okay, so likewise, just like the previous problem, if you solved it with me, um, there's another shortcut for sum of solutions, which is negative b divided by a. Remember, this is plus c e equals zero. So my b value, I have right, it's um, negative 16 minus 4b. I'm just going to keep the negative out though, so it's going to be 16a plus bum, bum, 4b. So it becomes positive all over a, which is 64. Um, okay, so amazing. Here, 
it would be like, this would be negated, this would be negated, but inside, since I have negative, negative, this is negative, this is negative, it becomes positive again. So this is positive and it's equal to K over 4A plus B. Okay, so looking at this, um, I can see that I can factor this out to make it look more ideal on the left-hand side. Oh my goodness, I can actually factor out the four, right? So four, um, four A plus B over 64 is equal to K over four A plus B. Amazing. And then from here, I can see this is equal to this. So therefore K must be equal to four over 64, which reduces to one sixteenth. And that is the answer. Amazing, right? Okay, so these are just um, some difficult SAT questions that have come up. You can see they aren't really difficult. You can use shortcut hacks, sum of solutions, product of solutions, um, plugging in, and really knowing vertex form. And that will help you boost your score, especially if you get a vertex form problem. They're very popular. Quadratics are super popular as well. So hopefully this video is helpful. And I'll catch you in the next video for more SAT tricks, hacks, and other amazing things to help boost your score. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video.